Spaghetti, aglio, aglio, pepperoncino. It's the dish you make when you think you have nothing because you always have these ingredients. And when you master it, there's nothing better and it's a great springboard for other pasta dishes. Let me show you how to make it. Let's start with the hot water. This is a fast one. This is one of the pasta dishes where while the pasta's cooking, you can just begin to make the sauce because it isn't even really a sauce. It's just garlic infused oil. When the water is boiling, salt. Stir. It's really, really easy dish. Hard to make great. Easy to make very well. More salt. I'm gonna make one portion right now. So, roughly a quarter pound of pasta. Try and get it in there. Spoon usually does the trick pretty well. This should take seven, eight minutes, all right? Now, garlic. I don't want to mince it. Mincing it shows too much surface area of the garlic. So, thin slices. A lot of garlic here. Really want to go crazy with it. Okay. Eat. Right size pan for the job. Olive oil. A lot of olive oil. Garlic in. Watch this. Don't burn it. It smells fantastic. Keep it moving around, take a peek. How does it look? We want golden garlic. A little bit of hot pepper in here. I'm off the heat, I'm completely off. Just the edges are starting to turn a little bit golden. Um, I, I took this off 35, 40 seconds ago and it's still cooking from the residual heat of the pan. Return this to a little bit of heat. Get some pasta water. This is vital in this dish. Pasta water in your mug. Okay. So, this is one where if you toss it, it will be better. A little bit of water. So you're looking for the sauce to be nice and thin. Steak cutting knife, yeah? It looks plain. Its flavor is amazing. So this is a fundamental dish because once you get this perfect, it's so good by itself, but it's also a platform from which you can make spaghetti garlic oil, broccoli, spaghetti garlic oil, parsley, spaghetti broccoli oil, basil. See what I'm saying here? You wanna hit it with a little breadcrumb, and if you wanna hit it with a little more red flakes. Another trick is olive oil. Well, Frank, we already made a whole bunch with a ton of olive oil. Cooked olive oil tastes completely different than raw olive oil. This is fruity and light and lifting, and this is heavy and rich and garlicky. So just a quick of that. And, uh, and there's your dish. Aglio, olio e peperoncino. The perfect midnight snack. I know you have all these ingredients in your pantry right now. Do it. It's easy. It's great. You'll thank me.